Good morning everybody. New South Wales is incredibly proud of the way in which we came together as a team to support our community during the COVID pandemic and that obviously continues. But New South Wales is always looking to the future and what will give us a cutting edge lead in the future in terms of medical technology and how to treat uh, various medical conditions including the manufacturing and development of a COVID vaccine and that's why I'm very pleased to say that New South Wales now is pulling together a team led by our Chief Scientist Hugh Durant White uh, to be able to promote New South Wales as a place where not only vaccines can be manufactured locally but the mRNA technology that is applied uh, to the COVID vaccine can be utilised in a whole range of other medical cures and medical treatments regarding genomics into the future. Now this is a strategy which the New South Wales Government strongly supports because not only do we want to guarantee a future supply of, uh, of vaccines here in New South Wales, but also develop an industry. We know that it requires skills, uh, it requires a number of components coming together. In New South Wales, the technology is already here. We have pockets of excellence of people who are uh, experts in their field. I'm very pleased that one of them is here today, Pal Thorberson, and he'll be saying a few words. But I'm also very pleased today to be joined by Barry Glover, who is the uh, chair of the VC committee. So he is Ch vice chancellor committees of New South Wales. So he is chair of the body of all the universities in New, in New South Wales that come together to talk about um, research, to talk about initiatives that promote um, issues regarding the university and ter ter tertiary education sector in New South Wales. So this is about having a collaborative approach. It's about bringing together all the pockets of e excellence that exist. The New South Wales government um, had already invested about $25 million in technology to support uh, these initiatives uh, recently and that technology has already led to a number of breakthroughs which Dr Chant uh, will mention in, in her um, remarks. But this is an opportunity for us to lead the way as far as uh, Australia is concerned in manufacturing not just a vaccine that would deal with COVID but vaccines and other uh, cures for illnesses uh, regarding genomics into the future. Now I'll leave the experts to explain what that means, but suffice to say that New South Wales has been doing well in bringing together all of our community, whether it's the university sector, our expert researchers, industry, uh, and of course government, and all of us will be working together to make what is now a vision an absolute reality. And we've done this before, We've uh, laid out our plans and then actually delivered against them. And uh, the advice I've had from the Chief Scientist, Hugh Darrant White, is that establishing a pilot in this area will take 12 to 24 months. But this is about having an eye on the medium to long term. This is about developing an entire industry of manufacturing these type of pharmaceuticals, which we currently don't have in New South Wales. And currently the extent of this doesn't exist anywhere in Australia. And we're happy to work with all parties, if that includes interstate parties or, or national bodies, to make this a reality. But we're really keen to make this happen. The next step is that I've asked the Chief Scientist, Hugh Durant White, to come back to me with a plan and a timeline of what's required next. And uh, I know you'll all ask me, well, what is the extent of the government's involvement? At this stage, we're enabling the process and we'll get advice from the experts as to what's required. In the main, it'll be industry that'll come in and, and back this process. Uh, this this process. Uh, we intend to involve industry in how this might be commercialised, uh, but they're questions of course um, that I'll get advice on from the Chief Scientist. Uh, now what I will do is ask the Chief Scientist to make some comments, then Pal Thorberson who is the expert in this, one of the experts in this area, but one of the leading lights in New South Wales on this technology, uh, and then also Barney Glover from uh, the university sector to also talk about the collaborative approach that universities will be offering. It's really important for us not to pick favourites, but to bring together all the pockets of excellence that currently exist to make this a reality. And then obviously we'll take any of your questions. And Dr Chant will also provide an update uh, from a chief medical perspective uh, on what this means for the future. So I'll just ask the uh, chief scientist to make a few comments.